If you've got nothing to do, well, I've got a couple of tricks for you. So take a look at these vids, because it's life hacks for kids. Hey guys, just having some OJ before my early morning commute to school. Some people might think bus rides are boring, but lucky for whoever sits next to me, because I'm the best bus buddy ever, and I'll prove it. That's why today's hacks are boredom busting bus hacks. A board game is the perfect boredom cure. Sounds weird, but it's true. But on a bumpy bus ride, game pieces can go flying everywhere. That's why my first tech is my stay on board checkers board. For this, you'll need an old DVD case, black and white Velcro strips, scissors, a pen, 12 purple and 12 green buttons, felt, and a hot glue gun. Use your DVD case to measure a rectangle on your felt. Cut that out, inside the lines. Use this to measure a second rectangle. Cut that out and put those aside. Grab the fuzzy side of your Velcro strips. Use the end of one strip to measure a square on the other, like this. Cut that out. Use this to measure the rest. Make 32 black squares and 32 white squares. Grab your felt. Start sticking your Velcro squares to one piece of the felt. Start with one black and one white in the middle along the long edge. Continue sticking alternating squares like this until you have an 8x4 checkerboard. Line this up with your plain piece of felt. Repeat these steps making sure no two same colors are next to each other. Now measure your black Velcro against the long end of your felt checkerboard. Cut that piece. Use that to measure and cut a white piece the same size. Stick these to your felt long ways. Like this. Take the sticky side of your Velcro, cut a square, and then cut it in half twice. Cut 24 tiny squares. Stick these to the back of your buttons. Now arrange your game pieces on the black squares. Grab your DVD case and glue your felt pieces inside like this. You're ready to play. Yeah. Checkmate. Wait, I think that's only when you play chess. So what do you say when you win checkers? Check me out. I'm the winner. Now it's time to keep my bus mate on the edge of their seat with all my favorite YouTube videos. Kidding. I can't hold my arm up for five minutes. That's crazy. Better make my next hack my rubber band phone stand. For this, you'll need a rubber band, a binder clip, a phone, and a backpack. Stretch the rubber band diagonally around the back of your phone, catching the corners. Repeat with the other rubber band and the opposite two corners. Grab your rubber bands here and clip them to the loop of your backpack. And you're done. I'm done with this bus ride boredom, and this last hack will really drive that message home, or school. Let's make something perfectly portable for Pictionary, Hangman, or writing notes to friends. Time to make my Think Outside the dry erase box. For this you'll need a clear plastic sandwich box, dry erase markers, tape, two paper clips, a pen, scissors, and some construction paper. First, bend open your paper clips just a little bit like this. Add some tape to the small part of the paper clip. Tape it to the top inside corners facing inward. 
like this. Trace your box on your construction paper like this. Cut that out, cutting inside the lines. Use this to make a bunch of different colored pieces. These will be your backgrounds. Just slip them into your clips like this. Then add your markers and whatever else you want. And as a bonus, I even have a snack to share with my bus buddy. They're so lucky to be sitting next to me. Oh, the bus is here. Gotta go. Bye. And there you have it. Three brilliant boredom busting bus hacks to make you the best bus buddy ever. Oops, <laughs> I almost forgot. For more hacks to beat boredom anywhere, subscribe to Jim TV. See you next time on Life Hacks for Kids.